Tonight, only the Target 12 investigators bring you inside the interrogation room as an accused killer in a local murder case is questioned by police. Chris, what I'm saying that you, you, you meant to... I don't know what I mean. Don't you understand that? Okay, so I'm, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm not. I remember that. Do you understand that? I understand that. We do, we do. Christopher James is on trial for allegedly stabbing his ex-wife, Terry Chiodo, on a ripped of bus in Portsmouth two years ago. As we reported last month, James's attorney tried to suppress video of the emotional confession you're about to see. But a Newport Superior Court judge denied that motion and the video will be used in the murder trial. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. This is a rare glimpse inside an interrogation. Christopher James face to face with two detectives only hours after an early morning homicide. That's Christopher James in the white jumpsuit walking into a room at the Portsmouth Police Department. About two hours earlier on West Main Road, ripped to passengers told police they saw James stab Terry Chiotto in the chest with, according to the police report, a large kitchen knife. After James sits, he starts to cry. About 13 minutes later, he gets up and tries to lie down. Come on, no, no. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Come on, let's get through this. The detective on the right is Michael Arnold. In the state's objection to suppress the interrogation, he describes James' emotional state before the interrogation as relatively calm. But Arnold indicates James' demeanor changed as soon as he sat down. You hear James' okay. first words about 20 minutes into the nearly two-hour video. I was sleeping. You were sleeping? All right, well, that's a start. I didn't mean to hurt her. I didn't even know she would go be on the bus. James tells the detectives he got on the bus to go to the sandwich shop where Chiodo worked. To ask him to forgive me for all the things that I've done in the past. A number of those things are documented, including an incident first reported by Target 12. This 2010 Fall River Police report shows Chiodo told officers James picked up a glass knickknack and said, quote, I will bash your blanking head in, then broke it and said, I will blanking stab you. James was given probation for that crime in order to take anger management classes. But less than six months later, James violated that order, according to this document. A murder case motion shows James had stated to Chiodo, if I can't be with you, then no one will be with you. And a witness has told investigators Chiodo felt that he, as in James, was going to kill her. Anytime I leave my house. During the interrogation, James admits he stabbed Chiodo, but insists he did not know it was her. He blames post-traumatic stress disorder and claims he was startled when Chiodo touched him. I was like this on a bus with my hood on. Just like this with my hood on, on a bus, laying down. I suffer from PTSD. You touch me, I'm going to tell you what. Something's going to happen because I feel as though I'm threatened. He tells the detectives he had a knife because he always carried a knife for protection. While James continues to insist he did not know he stabbed his ex-wife, Detective Aruda tells him what two eyewitnesses told police. You had said that you hoped that she had died. You hoped that she dies. No. You remember saying that? No. Why would they, why would they make that up? I mean, do you know those guys, the other guys are holding you down? I don't know, probably because she's white and I'm black. I don't know. Well, he was black, too, actually. James becomes more defensive. So we're not saying that you, you, you meant to do I love her, man. Don't you understand that? Okay, so I'm, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm,